guys, welcome back to another video. FNAF22 here with another video. And in today's video, as we all know, on December 4th, technically December 5th, because that's when the new season and new Battle Pass comes out, but on December 4th, we have an event in a an event coming where it's gonna change Fortnite. It's called the end event, and it's a live event, which obviously I'll be doing a video on that. But I just wanted to say that since that's coming. I wanted to give my theory of what might happen and how we're going to transition into Chapter 3, Season 1, because that's what's up next, I'm pretty sure. So as you guys can see, here's Chapter 2, Season 8, the final season that we're on right now at the moment that we've only got, I think, by the time you guys are seeing this, about five or six days left, so that's good stuff right here. And I have a theory on what might happen during this season. So as we all know, the Cube Queen, aka the secret skin for this season, is right now on top of this pyramid right there, as you can see her in her little energy bubble, uh, in Cube Town, which is like the main circle. And I think little to the right of Cube Town, or to the left, I think it's actually the left, to more towards Bony Burbs, is where the event's going to be happening. You can see, because there's a timer above it, if you go into the, the real game, you'll see it. But I have... An idea of what might happen so obviously we're going to be rushing the cube queen and trying to defeat her obviously as we've seen in the end trailer which I reacted to a couple days ago but I have a little bit of a theory as we all know carnage from Marvel is the tier 100 skin of this season if you go in and if you hit tier 100 you get the carnage skin from the battle pass but carnage isn't the only Marvel skin to appear this season we also had Nick Fury, who came out on Thanksgiving, and Eddie Brock's Venom. Now, I know Eddie Brock's Venom and Carnage were both to represent the new Let There Be Carnage movie that came out this year, but Nick Fury was really a surprising one. As we all know, Nick Fury recruits all of the Avengers and the Marvel people, like, in the movies. But, I, but my little theory is that if Carnage, Venom, and Nick Fury all still came in, that means there's still a way for Marvel people to be coming into our universe. So what if, during this fight, Nick Fury shows up, and so is Carnage. I don't think Venom, but at least Carnage, because he's in the Battle Pass. What if Nick Fury shows up, and we see all the Avengers skins, which we already have? Only the ones we have, like She-Hulk, Storm, Iron Man, Captain America, etc. And they're all here to help us fight the Cube Queen. But what if, last second... He's like, we need a little bit more recruit, and comes swinging in. We, we come see Spider-Man swinging in to help us, and that gives us our next either Tier 100 skin or Secret skin for Chapter 3 Season 1, because his movie also does come out in December, so it'll be a good way to promote the movie, just like they did with Let There Be Carnage. I'd love to see Spider-Man come in and help us with this Cube Queen battle, and for him to be in the next Battle Pass. That would be absolutely amazing, and it would be such a big, like, crazy thing to happen, and she, he would be helping us defeat the Cube Queen. But we also know that Naruto, Kakashi, Sasuke, and Sakura, all from the anime Naruto, all came out this season as well. And my guess is they've kind of played a big role in this season, more than any other item shop skin. My guess is we might be getting Marvel and these four Naruto characters taking on the Cube Queen with all of our Fortnite skins. Because Naruto, Kakashi, Sakura, and Sasuke are some over -p overpowered characters, and I feel like they're going to... I almost said over P, but I meant OP. I feel like they're going to help us take out the Cube Queen during the season with the Avengers as well. That could be a very big like storyline. But I don't think we're going to win. What I think is going to happen is that she's going to do something and this whole cube town is going to blow up. Kind of like it's in the exact same spot where the black hole blew up. But my guess is that they might take us through kind of like a rewind through time. Now I'm going to go in depth with this theory later on because if you guys don't know... We have this new thing where right before the battle pass, so on December 3rd, I will be doing a video making my own Chapter 3 Season 1 battle pass. So, yeah, so, um, and they'll obvi obviously gives us, give us some teasers, some teasers for like my guess or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to go into this theory a little bit more in that video, but my guess is what if they take us through a rewind, and if you guys didn't know... Lately on Fortnite's official Instagram page, by the way, follow me on Instagram. As you can see, they showed off the trailer for Chapter 2 Season 3 today. 
Yesterday, they showed it off for Chapter 2, Season 2, and the other day, they showed the picture of Chapter 2, Season 1. So, as we all know, Chapter 2, Season 8 is obviously the 8th season in Chapter 2. But how many skins are in a battle pass? If you count here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7, plus counting the Cube Queen as the secret skin, we have 8 skins. We have 8 battle passes in Chapter 2. What if... Every skin in the next battle pass is represented by an older season. Like, because that's kind of what they're pointing towards. Maybe for Chapter 2 Season 4, which was the all-Marvel season, we get Spider-Man. Maybe for Chapter 2 Season 2, we get another Shadow or Ghost skin. This is just like an example I'm giving, but I'm actually going to go more in-depth in that other video, but that's just one of my little theories. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I have a really good theory. I think I have a really good one. I haven't heard anybody else talk about this. Maybe somebody has, but I really haven't. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen. And do you guys think the Cube Queen might win? I'm not sure yet, but hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell so you always be notified when I drop another video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Doses!